Greetings gamers, hello YouTube, and welcome back. This is Sinlar Gaming 101. I am Sinlar, and we are going to jump right into hunting for an Amorais in the tall grass here. We are in the middle of Starbeast Meteor version Pokedex playthrough. Last episode, we managed to bring ourselves up to 109 caught Pokemon. We caught Kmac. It was the only wild catch we made in the last episode, which I find kind of disappointing, but it is part of the hard part. I think it's the hardest part of doing a Pokedex run, is that you have to hunt down stuff that takes forever to find. Like Recall. That was fast. Um, you have to you have to hunt down stuff that takes forever to find. You have to hunt down the rare stuff, or else you can't finish the decks. Um, so, but we did catch a Kmac. We have not traded it in for a unicorn over on Cinnabar Island. It is still a Kmac. It is sitting in the PC. We are now out on Route 13, hunting for an Amareus. Um it's supposed to be on routes 12 and 13, we spent a bunch of time on route 12 in the last episode, didn't find one, I've moved to route 13, um, we've had a couple of theories, like, do I need to fish for it, but then it comes up on the routes, and if you look at Cup of Calf's dex entry, um, which I absolutely could show, probably won't just for time. But Cup of Calf's dex entry, the, the spot where we found Cup of Calf, is not marked as a place to catch Cup of Calf, but we found it by fishing. And Amareus is a Bushido Pokemon. Looks like a samurai. There's... I mean, it'd have to be a water type. Probably even a water ghost type, honestly. To be worth fishing for, I think. So those two things tell me I need to keep hunting the grass for this little 1% encounter that's never gonna come up. <gasps> I can do this. Deep breath, Sinlar. You can do this. You got this. So goal for today... I apparently have a little bit of time to talk. Four, goal for today is four catches. Amaraeus here, <laughs> which I hope happens soon. Uh, but Amaraeus here, shock and roll in the power plant, and then playing in combat Joe in Cinnabar Mansion. Um, after that, I do want to do the Safari Zone hunts. I have three to do in the Safari Zone. I have You Missed Me and Volturnus and Draymon which I know for a fact can only be acquired in the Safari Zone unless you miss me to be caught by fishing somewhere. That'd be fantastic, but I don't know. Um, so I want to do those between episodes so that next episode I can kind of lead off with, oh look, here's, here's the footage of me catching You Missed Me without the footage of 400 Safari Zone runs with cuts in between because I don't want to waste 500 poke dollars on the Safari Zone hunt. Or the running, or the <laughs> you missed me, ran away, and now I have to hunt for it for another 45 minutes. Um, I don't want to do that with the Safari Zone. So I'm just going to show the captures. I'm not going to show the whole hunt, I think. It's going to be the one thing that I don't show the whole hunt for. Um, but I think it's necessary, and then the goal would be to start the next episode running running reveals, trading out Kmac for the unicorn, running a bunch of evolutions, and hunting down the two legendaries that I do have access to at this point. And that could be the next episode, and then the episode after that could be finalizing a team and training it up a little bit on the water routes and then gyms and take gym 7, gym 8 and move my way towards Victory Road and 
be done with that part of the game in the next few episodes would be nice. That's the point where things are going to start winding down, because then I can go to... Cerulean Cave... and take one single high-level Pokémon. At some point, I'm going to have to hunt through to the back of the cave to get... the one thing. I don't think I got a... did I? I had to have gotten a Master Ball. Right? So that part won't be hard, because I just used Master Ball on whatever's back there where Mewtwo normally stands. Not a big deal, but... I do need to run through the cave, and I can use the cave and pick one strong Pokémon take the XP all on a bunch of the weaker Pokemon and get a whole lot of levels at the same time, hopefully. I mean, the XP all, if you haven't seen the episode on my rant on the XP all, then here you go. And if you've heard this all already, then I apologize, but it's a lot more entertaining for me to rant about something while I'm hunting Amorace than just hunt. Because there's a Tungoon. That's not what I need. So the XP all, I dislike the XP all. <laughs> the newest versions, Sword and Shield, um, I think Sun Moon and Ultra Sun Ultra Moon did a, a decent job of it. I haven't looked at it hard enough to know for sure, but I think they did. Um, so Generation 7, 8, and 9 did a really good job of XP sharing. If you battled, you get full XP. If you didn't battle, you get half XP. Everybody in the party gets XP every time. Full XP all the way through. There's no there's no split. Every he stepped out of the grass, darn it. Every Pokemon is considered either a participant, in which case they get full XP, or a non-participant, in which case they get half XP. There's no like, oh, three Pokemon participated, so all three get little bits of the XP. Before that, where Switch Training came in, was this idea that if you participated in a battle, you split the experience. So two Pokemon participate, they each get half. Three Pokemon participate, they each get a third. Um, I don't know if Generation 6 did it this way, I'm pretty sure Generation 5 did. I think Generation 6 might have. Um, when held items were introduced, held items were introduced in Generation 3, you had the... Oh, maybe it was Generation 2. I don't remember. I'd have to look. But you had an XP share item, an EXP share, and that was huge, because normally what you would have to do to split the XP is you have to switch train, the same way we've been switch training here. You put a Pokemon in the lead, you send it out, as soon as the battle starts you immediately call it back and send out something stronger that ultimately takes a hit, and the XP share item automatically treated whatever Pokemon it was attached to as a battle combatant. So it got, normally it got half the XP, because you only put in one Pokemon. And you didn't have to put it in. You didn't have to switch it out, you didn't have to switch it back in. It was fantastic. Not as fantastic as the current system, but way better than the XP All. So the XP All in Generation 1 was not a held item, because held items are not a thing in Generation 1. But the XP All, the way it works, is that it treats your whole team as a single combatant, and then splits the XP evenly between them. So Jelly Helly participates in battle, gets half the XP. Then the part, then the the whole team, every member of the team, gets one sixth of the other half of the XP. It's very inefficient. But with some of the low levels that I have to do, 
if I can get into Cerulean Cave and get some good some good runs at stuff, then hopefully I can be like, yeah, we're done. You know, everything's getting at least for a while, everything's getting a level or two off of one wild Pokemon. You get to a point where it's like three wild Pokemon and all of a sudden I'm not getting XP anymore, or I'm not getting levels anymore. I'm getting the XP, but I'm not getting the levels. Like, that would be ideal for getting everything up to a minimum of 10 for the things that I need to evolve. Or want to evolve. It was a really long rant, I feel like. About the terribleness of the Generation 1 XP all, which is not the fault of anybody who touched this game, because that would have been rewriting, like taking out sections of the game that the game may not have been able to handle. Um, having taken out and manipulated like that. Good quality of life updates that didn't make it into this game, and that's okay. I mean, it's nostalgic. Pokemon Blue was my first game ever, so... Kids these days have it way too easy in Pokemon games. Um, that's that. But... Even on that long rant, like, I still haven't found your other race. Lots of Ogre. Lots of rock. Quite a few blady bug. The whole point of not training Mornado right now and just running for everything is that I'm out of PP. And I really don't want to go back to Pokemon Centers. It's just a pain to go back to the Pokemon Center and then get all the way back out here. I don't want that in my life. Last episode, I had originally mentioned going to the power plant after I went to Cinnabar Island. I think I'm going to change that, though. I think I'm going to go to the power plant first. Because I'm just going to run the same strategy. I'm not going to train. Because Warnado and Jelly Heli are the ones that, that need to be trained. I'm walking into a field of electricity with flying and water it just seems like a poor choice. Um, so I'm gonna run. Run, 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 run. Probably search, because I'd be willing to bet based on its shape, shock and roll, based on its shape and what it appears its job is, shock and roll is gonna be a Pokeball. So I'll probably search. not just kite the entrance and hope and pray the way I'm hoping and praying for armor race and then go to Cinnabar Island that way I've just got the last two combat Joan playing and I can go to the Pokemon Center there heal up and start training Warnado a little bit more see if I can get an Eradicane at some point goal anyway. Alright. Rock. Come on, I'm a race. One percent. A tenth of a percent. One percent. Roll me my number. I need you to poke your head out of the grass that I might shove it into a Pokeball, please! Oops, wrong button. Please let me stuff you in a Pokeball. Please let me stuff you in a Pokeball. Please let me stuff you in a Pokeball. <sighs> this is not Amory's allowing me to stuff it in a Pokeball! Uh, 
there, not there, not there. Emery's? There we go. Found it! Alright. Let's see. I don't remember who had one of these. Probably steel. Between the armor, the sword, and the not very effective wrap. But if I'm right and it's steel, then Sludge Bomb won't do anything to it, and my water type attacks will just wreck it. If I'm wrong and it's rock, Sludge Bomb could do a lot of damage, which would be great. Make this a lot faster. But on the flip side, could easily kill it. We've spent way too long searching for this thing, so... Done. Ultra Ball. I think I'm going to need to buy some more Ultra Balls before I take on the Legendaries. Just because I don't have anything in my party to sleep. I'm going to be relying a lot on luck to catch stuff. So there's an armor race. It follows a rigid warrior code of honor, inflicting only enough pain to render its foe unconscious. Very kind of it, especially in the Pokemon world that it lives in. Nickname now. Alright, we get to move on. Griffin can fly, so can Warnado, but whatever. Do 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 do, Cerulean City! We're in the air to Cerulean City! And then we're gonna come over here. No. Whatever. House. <laughs> the nice thing about having Griffin fly, we're already on Griffin for cut. Bow! Down. Up. Over here. Yeah, I already faced you. Which is good for you. Uh, Jelly Holly Surfs. And we go down here. All the way down. We'll get out. Ooh, there's a dude. We're gonna skip the dude for now. We'll face him later. And we are looking for a shock and roll, and that is the only thing we need in here is a shock and roll. That was fast. That bodes really, really well. Not very effective. Probably electric steel. Fortunately, I outspeed it, so going kaboom is not a choice that's what shock and roll is going to do given the opportunity oh. come on first try catch it catch it catch it three yes oh yeah we're already off to a better start than last episode <laughs> it took me longer than this to find a K-Mac in spite of its cute appearance Okay. I don't know that I'd call an explosive cute. I don't know that I'd call that cute. But in spite of its cute appearance, it is dangerous because it can and will explode without warning. And shock and roll is transferred to Bill's PC, and as much as I said we exploring, we out. Uh, Cinnabar Island. Where we search the mansion for Combat Joe and Plane. But I do want to level up Warnado a little bit while we're in there. Alright. So 
Switch. All better. Here we go. Into Cinnabar Mansion for Combat Joe and Plane. And straight off the bat, we end up with... Zipodi. Not particularly helpful. Definitely way too high level. That's going to hurt. Not nearly as much. This will hurt back. Done! Super effective, Warnado, and Hemethalon get XP. Sweet. Um, I mean, I really am just gonna wander around until I figure out what's going on because I have no idea what floor I'm gonna be looking for. I have no idea. whether they're even on the same floor. I know that I have all the items picked up. That's not a thing in here for me. Um, I just have to find them. Warnado grows to 34. Cool. So I'm just going to wander around Cinnabar Mansion for the next... However long it takes me to find Combat Joe and Plane. Ideally, hopefully, I find manage to find them both. That would be fantastic. Because there are the two I need. Ouch. such a terrible move at this level, though, especially against a Steel-type. I couldn't have draw run it. I was gonna be like, oh, you know, I totally could have draw run it and got all the XP. That would have been great. Except I can't draw run it, it's flying, and therefore immune to ground. Oops. Trap a string. It's an ominous wind. Hopefully it didn't just get disabled. Fly is disabled. I don't care. Crit ominous wind. Cool. More training. Okay, that blocks that off. So let's go explore floor number two for a little bit. Maybe we can find a player or combat Joe. I feel like this is going to go a lot like Emery's did where it's going to take me forever. Maybe I'll find it. And I don't have the interest factor of Seafoam Island either. In Seafoam Island, I managed to catch everything except the K-Mac. And I think a large part of the reason I managed to catch everything except the K-Mac... Yeah, I know that. Anyway, the large part of the reason that I managed to catch everything except the K-Mac is because I went back to solve the floor, the, the boulder puzzle, the other boulder puzzle, the useless boulder puzzle. So, 
Like, I don't have that. I'm just wandering around the building, hoping I'm finding the two Pokemon I need. And hoping I can get enough XP to level up a little bit while I'm at it. Do I know what's going to happen? No, I have no idea. It's immune to drill run. Body slam is not going to work very well. Let's run on this wind. It's going to use all its on this wind. Spike cannon. See, I haven't learned spike cannon yet. When did you learn spike cannon? Because I absolutely would have taken Spike Cannon. Crit. Oh, Spike Cannon takes so long. Oh, that one didn't take as long. Cool. One health. One hit point. It lived. Done. Warnado gets some XP. Never again will Warnado face Warnado. <laughs> Never! Never again will Warnado face a steel type that it can't just do this. Seriously? One hit point again. Body slam. Ornado gets a ton of XP though, which is always cool. Alright, that journal entry is going to be one of the legendaries. That's a Sabrantis. I want Sabrantis right now. Although it should be good XP. Decent XP anyway. Bug Bite will be not very effective. Flying and Steel. But it goes for the Bug Bite again, knowing that it's dead. It's what we call giving up. Pretty sure the AI is not supposed to give up. Alright, level 35 for Warnado. Which is cool. Playing. Combat Joe. This is neither playing nor Combat Joe. Fifteen levels it better be out anyway. Let me just make that clear. All right, playing in combat, Joe. Come on, come on. Can't get in there. Valandrin. Joran, that's right. Like, oh, I got this. Joran. No. There it is. Okay. Gets a bunch of XP. XP puts it closer to leveling. An Oogig. I still have no idea how to pronounce this one. It is a psychic type. And a very weak one at that, apparently. Sweet. Oop. 
press it he switch because who wouldn't press it he switch tear wolf Wow, I speed tie it. Come on. Drag lean. Like, I need levels on more Nato unless I get really, really lucky about the things I find and decide to put on my team. I'm gonna want the levels for Eradicane anyway. Tormented. We're gonna put out Swift Tile because if it goes boom, I don't care about Swift Tile. MF1 probably would have been a really good choice too, but I didn't do it. Ornado goes to 36. Trying to learn Spike Cannon at level 36, but the level 31 had it. Yes, I want to trade for Spike Cannon. Body Slam. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hyper Potion on Hot Blood. Shock Green. Let's go home at Flan for this one. Deal with this. Should be decent XP. But... I totally should have left Warnado in. Would have been immune. Majovic is now on a timer. And unless I get really, really, really lucky, chances are I'm not getting that lucky. I'm this way. There's not what I wanted to start with. This isn't second yet. That's okay. Drill run would have been better because it is electric. But we got there. Just run away from it. Come on. I only need two in here, please. Flamethrower. Drag lane is a nice all-rounder. Dragons tend to be. A little bit of everything.
No, that's true. I mean, we're in need of you know, the XP on this one. That's fine. How long will my Jovich live? I forget, what happens if I jump down here? I know I figured it out the first time, and I know I end up in the wrong spot. I have to do all of the switches again. But honestly, that's not a bad gig, given that I have to run around and do something while I wait. Yeah, see, I end up right there. Can't get in. Wrong button. The dude wonders where his partner went. We got items out of these corners. That's a hell brand. I mean, hell brand's not bad. I wish it had been a lot easier to find when I was looking for it. But. Hey, oh. I was so excited because for once we finally broke through confusion. But then I missed Rock Throw, so who cares? Okay. Back down the stairs, back to the switch. Same strat as last time. Go ahead and explode. Cause you're just gonna kill something I don't care about as much. Oh, didn't affect me. Self-destructing like you're supposed to. Reach fails. Well, Swift Dog gets a bunch of XP again. I don't mind it. Especially for how little XP it actually is. The laboratory portion is the best portion. I mean, one's a robot. At least one's a robot. The other's steel, I think. Alright, here we are. New territory. I could totally leave, but then I'd have to do this all again, so. We're not gonna do that yet. A drag lane. Yay. Oh, I was hoping that door would just be open. Yes, I pressed the switch. 
No luck. I don't have to look at these things, do I? Ominous wind would have done a lot. Totally should have done that. Oh well. Secret switch. Press it. Who wouldn't? Somebody looking for Combat Joe and playing. Except I'm looking for Combat Joe and playing. I totally just pressed the button. So maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Ha. <sighs> Modjovic is about to go out, which is good. Because then I can stop with the poison every four steps. Rock throw. Hellbrand out! It's got a lot of hit points. Ornado grows to level 37. Cool. Oh, and Hamephalon to 46. I'm looking for 50. So I'm not even like outside of training range. Technically, I'm not even close to training range. Hmm, come on. Combat Joe playing. Playing Combat Joe. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! Anyway. The beauty of that is that I got totally off task. Totally doing something that was correct. <laughs> Correctly off task. I like it. Okay, uh, let's go to Spike Cannon. Try out our new move. Doesn't do hardly anything. I mean, these moves, it's about stacking them up. Almost. And one more. I probably could have draw run it. Now that I think about it, I forget that Warnado has draw run. Not used to having ground type moves. Need to go into some of those final chambers. Or Scott being able to get out. Don't think I do. Okay. Oh, level 40. This one might hurt a little bit. Here's an ominous wind. Oh, and the flinch! Yeah! Ornado gains a bunch of more XP. <sighs> no ominous wins this time around. Let's go fly. I didn't press the switch. Okay. This time we're gonna press the switch so we can get into these lab rooms. Because that was the goal the first time around and I just didn't do it. I know. Shame on me. I'm a terrible person. I really am. to catch both of them in this episode. I mean, I've already got to get really lucky to catch either of them in this episode, but 
at this point we're really running lucky to get both. Press the switch. That is why I came up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, confusion. Dodge it by virtue of fly. 771, and Warnado grows another level. I don't expect it to evolve anytime soon, just because it took so long to evolve in the first place. Orly didn't evolve until level 30. Can't leave the lab until the scientist tells you it's okay. Gotta make sure you're not stealing all the beakers or stuff. Right? It's a really short episode, but I made two. I'm gonna get out. Which is gonna take me some time. This is gonna take some time to get out. Because I have to do this backwards. Press it, yes. And now I'm stuck on, like, the lower two floors. And this was not a bad run. Lots of raw talk down here. I'm not sure what the implication is supposed to be. I mean, I can guess that the scientists were messy before the mansion burned down, exploded, whatever it did. Nope, up. So we have to come around this door, we have to flip the switch so that we can go back up and actually leave. Then I think I'm going to call it here. We got two more, which is fantastic. Um, I am going to run. Between these episodes, I am going to run the Safari Zone. And get all three of those Pokemon. Hopefully, we'll be like introduction to the next episode and then it's just Cinnabar Mansion really combat Joe and playing up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down I mean it sounds really exciting it kind of is like I'm excited to get a combat Joe especially since I originally thought I was gonna have to buy one <laughs> that was gonna be a pain it's exciting to get a playing and it's exciting to get to move on um, the actual hunt itself is not going to be as exciting, but I will do it for the YouTube and I will do it for the results. Thank you for sticking around. Please go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, um, all the things down below. Do it. Um, then you won't miss anything, especially as we wrap up this one. What are we at now? Pokedex says we own 111 without seeing anything new. So we've got like 12 that we have to see yet. Four of them are legendary. One of them is a starter. So we've got 12 to see and way more than that. 40 to capture. 
But even then, we're, we are winding down. This is the last third, and kind of getting to a point where most of it is just leveling up. Yeah, so thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Uh, definitely leave some comments for the team that made this game. It is a fantastic game. And until next time, enjoy your gaming. Goodbye.